Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy from Hope Designs and I'm hoping my autofocus will chill. Alright, hopefully that's better. But I wanted to play around on this little six inch today um, because the very talented Mark Gilday from Mark Gilday Art sent me a Puffy 2000 and I'm super excited to try it. So I'm going to try to do a small bloom and only use this to blow it out and I was gonna play around and not record it and then I thought well what if it's great and then I don't record it so I remembered that I had thought that I recorded these colors when I made them together and sorry about the paint on my hands I was mixing paint and for some reason the file for this recording is like gone so um, when I did this little tile I was playing around with this pillow paint that I got on the oopsie shelf at Home Depot no Lowe's I think it's I think it's an infinity paint I don't remember but anyway it's this color and it's sort of like like a navy almost like an anchors away maybe a little bit darker it is a little thick. It's a satin finish, but because it's such a dark color, it's a little bit thick. So I thinned it down a little bit with a little bit of water. I haven't had trouble using it on tiles. I have had trouble trying to use it on larger pieces. So I thinned it with a little bit of water because it's so thick that it kind of folds over on itself. So I don't know if I got it thin enough, but I thinned it with a little GAC 800 and a little bit of water. Um, but I love the color. It's like a smoky blue, navy blue. I always love navy blue pillow paint. So anyway, I separated some of it out. It has a lot of bubbles. Um, it doesn't really seem to be as big of a deal on a dark color if you have this measly look <laughs> as it is on a light color, um, like white. But anyway, I'm going to tell you how I layered them. I have some interference red and some interference gold sparkle from Color Art. And I'm going to put them in a bottom layer and in a layer in the middle just because I really love the way it looks. It's amazing how much color it brings <laughs> on especially on a darker background like that. Plus I super love the cells that I get from interference colors. So this is Nickel Azo Gold from Golden. It's a little thick. And this is Chrysocola, which is a prism pour color. Don't forget, you can save 20% on anything on Color Arts website with my code, which is Mandy1120. <clears throat> and the prism pour colors are there's 12 of them now and they're so much fun. I haven't mixed the four new ones yet, but I will. So you should expect that coming soon. Chris Cole is one of my faves. Not that that's a big surprise, right? I, I love teals and blues and that kind of thing. We'll do a little more interference up here. Then we're gonna do some temptation, I think, on that coaster set that I did. I think I did the second layer of interference below Chrysocola, but it doesn't matter. I don't remember if I used a tube paint underneath the cell activator. It doesn't look like it. I need probably a little bit more temptation than I did on the set because this is a little bigger. I love this temptation color. I thought about using a black cell activator since I've never used the, the Puffy. I love the name. The name is the greatest. Um, so Mark and Erica now have a website for Pour, Scrape, Repeat, and they have a bunch of really cool things. So I'm going to list it in the description box below. Um, but if you haven't seen Mark use this tool, uh, he has a really funny video where he does it on a Dutch pour, and the Dutch pour turned out great. And he was explaining in the video how it's hard to do a Dutch pour on a small surface, and it really is because you know, you're going to get this massive blow dryer out and blow out 
you know, this tiny little bit of paint. So he actually uses it for the whole Dutch pour and it was really kind of cool. And so um, he was gracious enough to send me one and I'm super excited. So expect a lot of puffy debuts from the Puffy 2000. I want to try it in various pours, but you guys know I'm always, if you follow my channel, you know I'm always looking for better ways to blow out blooms and pra practice blowing them out. So I'm going to blow through this side, out of this side. So first, I'm going to blow out the puddle a little bit. I'm going to use a copper cell activator. This is Atelier. Um, I'm hoping I finally worked out the kinks that were in my paint tube. That seems like enough. Let me add a little bit more to the middle there. When the Atelier paint is on point, which my silver one was, my pale gold and my copper tubes have had some like separating in the tube issues but when it is on point it holds its structure really really well I don't even think I'm gonna blow it out first I think I'm just gonna go for it so <laughs> this makes me laugh Okay, I blew it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to blow it out first so I can get some force. Huh, I blew too deep. It's okay, I'm gonna get it back. It also comes with another attachment. I'm wondering if I shouldn't use that first. pretty cool. <laughs> I like how it gives you kind of a wide grip. see I kind of messed up right there <laughs> this is fun Okay, I'm going to give it a chance to come back. Now, I didn't do a perfect job, because mind you, I'm used to blowing with a blower. I'm going to get my turkey baster and get a couple of the small spots. I could also do that with the attachment that they send with it, but I don't have it out. But what I like about this, now, um, you still, I'm going to bring you in a little bit, you still need a pretty good chunk of air. I'm trying to keep my phone from autofocusing. You still need a pretty good chunk of air. But one of the challenges that I face, and also this cell activator is a little bit thick, is that, you know, if I use a small blower or whatever, I'm going to talk to y'all about pop bubbles, it's hard to get a wide enough fan to get kind of even coverage. And when you are trying to blow out the places where there still is cell activator, 
it's very easy to go too deep into the pillow, which I did in a couple of places. But this, because you're actually blowing it yourself, it helps you glide it across the top. So I'm gonna hit a couple places. I'm kind of waiting for the center, but I'm gonna hit a couple places. I didn't do a great job and see if I can't get them to come out a little bit. But you see how much effort I had to put forth there to not blow too deep? The puffy kind of does that for me. I probably should find the other attachment real quick and show y'all. I think this is a pretty genius idea. Good job, Mark and Erica. So in the middle, all I'm doing is breaking the surface tension. I'm not necessarily trying to create cells. I'm just breaking it up a little bit. Because the cells will generally happen organically if you can just kind of create a little, see, they're coming through. Now, because I used pigments kind of all the way to the top, my cell activator is not going to create those clean crisp lines it's it's going to be very sparkly which is fine so <clears throat> and i know that because i used a blue pillow you may not be able to see as much detail as you normally would but i think it's going to be really pretty especially when it dries so now that we've got some good details let's spin it out they also have this really cool um Thing for the bottom of your spinner that you can add in a popsicle stick to the slot and it helps you spin it so you're not having to get paint all over yourself. I think this is cool. Not my per it's not a perfect blowout, but none of my blowouts necessarily are. It's much better than anything I would probably do blowing it out myself. I love this part. And I love how this fanned out perfectly. Um, I think with a little practice, this is gonna be a great tool. Let's get a little bit more paint off the surface. I love the colors together. So yeah, Puffy 2000. I love the name, don't ever change it guys. That's a fantastic name. Uh, I have some bubbles I'm gonna pop. I love the way that Chrysocolla Prism Pour Color looks with Temptation. Temptation is from the Glitz set of primary elements, which are very sparkly and semi-opaque. It's in the Jelly Bean set, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So you may not be able to see the full effect of the interference right now. I think we have enough off. Um, let me bring you down show you what I'm talking about. You may not be able to see the full effect of the interference right now, um, but when it dries and when it's resined, you will. So let me pause you, bring you down for a close-up, and don't forget to check out the link below for Mark and Erica's website. Um, and if you don't already subscribe, which I can't imagine that you wouldn't, if you don't already subscribe to their YouTube channels, I'll also list their links below for you. Okay, give me just a minute. Good everyone. Here is our close-up, super sparkly, as you can imagine. This is my favorite part right here. Look at the beautiful, beautiful cells with multiple colors. I love the lacing around the edges where the interference colors kind of create ghost cells over the pillow paint. I love the way Chrysocolla and Temptation blend together. And with the Nickel Azo, because it's kind of a orangey brown we have some pops of green in here i love that it it's not a color that takes over a lot it just really accentuates a piece so here that like almost like a green gold that's because we added that nickel azo gold down here where you see some faint 
almost copperish. Yeah, we have the copper cell activator, but again, the nickel azo. And then see the interference? We got the blend of the interference. There's some interference red in there, you can see that. But that gold sparkle is just phenomenal. So this is a small kind of a test piece, but I really love it. And I love Puffy 2000. I love these little tiny cells. I, I love, I just love the results. Sorry about the barking. Uh, my dogs heard something. But anyway, I love the result. Please don't forget to use my code on color art to save 20%. Mandy1120, also below. And check out Mark and Erica's website and their YouTube channels if you don't already. I'll list those below. We'd love for you to join us in our Facebook group, group, <laughs> group Fluid Art Friends. Um, also, the link is below. And thank you for all your continued support. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this. And uh, what do you think of Puffy? Puffy 2000. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Bye.